I did my undergrad in uh, English and History in UCC, but I was always very involved in LGBT activism, mainly trans activism, and I did a little bit of queer theory in my final year, and I was really looking for something that could kind of give me more of a grounding in that, um, and I knew that I wanted to progress in academia, um, like a PhD was something I've always wanted to do. So immediately after researching a handful of gender studies masters around the country, I realized that this was the best one and the one that suited me best. It's a really well-rounded, um, approach to what gender is for everyone in the room um, and even more so than that because it's such a diverse masters that tries to guide you through as many different theoretical perspectives as possible dealing with you know like class and ability and race that it really took into consideration the diversity of our experiences as a group and just the diversity of Ireland and the world as we are in right now and it was very much like kind of a guided experience like if something really caught your eye a particular topic in a module or a particular reading or a particular theorist you then could go away and really really invest in that um, and actually as well one of the best things they said to us was if something isn't working for you if you don't like a reading in the first page stop reading it like that was really really empowering that if something doesn't work for you as an individual then there isn't a point in wasting your time or your energy um, go and find something that works for you Equally, the hardest and also the best thing was my thesis. Um, I was really, really excited about it. I um, had the opportunity to engage in kind of an alternative methodology that I'd never come across, uh, mainly from the guidance of my supervisor, Dr. Aideen Quilty, who really, really pushed me to see how I could maybe get more engaged with um, transgender theory and queer theory. And it really just sent me into, I suppose, a space where I now feel like I have a very rooted sense of who I am as an academic. Um, I know what my methodological style is, I know what my writing style is, I know the area that I want to continue into, and I, like, I know what I like and I don't like, and I know what I'm good at and what I'm not good at, and that was the entire process of writing the thesis, but doing it with someone who really valued me as not just a student, but saw me very much as an equal, and that we were working together to create this body of work. I think the Masters definitely gives you an opportunity to see, oh, I would consider myself very politically enlightened, but I'm not doing enough maybe for asylum seekers, or I'm not doing enough for people of colour, or I'm not doing enough for people who um, have disabilities. So it's about re-engaging your feminism and your academia at the same time to be more inclusive of everyone. And it actually, it values your experience as an individual, but it makes you think very much um, about the communities that you're a part of and the communities as well that you're not a part of and that you should be lending your activism to them as well. Like I came into it thinking that I knew everything about gender but in the first week I was like god I have so much to learn and that was really really exciting and then to come out the end of it and even think that like okay I know an awful lot now but there's always going to be more I can learn and that's the best part of academia and that's kind of the gift that the masters gave to me was a real appetite for wanting to to know and do more to do with with gender equality <laughs> i love my masters like i would do it like over and over again if i could <laughs>